Take two. Nice camera action. Hello, I'm Coach Patrick. As most of you know, or Ricky, or Richard, and a bunch of other aliases. <laughs> and I'm Rena. <laughs> Just Rena. <laughs> <laughs> well, today we're going to talk to you all about how the quarantine has affected our Airbnb business. Yeah, the pandemic, yes. Yes, the pandemic, the COVID 19, <laughs> the coronavirus. The Rona. The Rona. Yeah. Cronus. <laughs> Crona. So I guess um, in hindsight, we could tell you how our business normally goes um, in a typical year during this pandemic time. Mm -hmm. So in general, if we were not in a pandemic, uh, starting in February. Yeah. Towards the end of February, we'll be going into our peak season. The beginning yes. of it. Yes. So anywhere from March to September. Yeah, I'll wait. I, I would say even I'll wait to uh, maybe even August based off the numbers. Yeah. So March to set March to, to August. August. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. August. Right around that fall break area, a lot of people still traveling and everything, especially here in Nashville. Yeah, that's like September, October ish. Yeah, but a lot of middle, I mean high schools and you mm -hmm. know just public schools, they they go later into October. Mm -hmm. So. Needless to say, spring and summer months are our good months. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Those are our great months. Yes. Uh, and so we really started feeling the effects of the pandemic uh, about... March 15th. Yeah. When well, that's actually, when we officially went on quarantine. Yeah. But before then, we were starting to feel effects from the tornado. Yes, people were asking and sending messages, was Nashville okay uh, for the mm -hmm. tornado? So, yep. uh, if you don't know, we had a tornado hit. Um, the beginning of The beginning of March. March. Yeah. Uh, I work for the school system, so we were out of school for the rest of that week when he had, I think it hit like a Tuesday morning. Uh, we was out for the rest of that week. Um, out even that Monday, I believe we came back Tuesday, Wednesday, and we was heading into our spring break. Um, Which is also us heading into peak season. Oh, uh, yeah, also. Mm -hmm. um, and then that's peak when the corona hit. Mm -hmm. And they let us out early. Uh, thinking that, you know, we'll be quarantined for about two weeks. So that. at that point, we lost a couple of bookings um, because. Yeah. People were concerned as far as um, since the tornado hit, mm -hmm. uh, some of downtown and some of Nashville was starting to be at a little bit of a standstill. Some mm -hmm. of the businesses, attractions, yeah. um, events. Were, events, yeah, were closing up because of the tornado. So mm -hmm. we started having some cancellations then. Yes. Um, then Airbnb let out the the bomb. They dropped the bomb on on the host. You know, that's what I feel like they. <laughs> They allowed uh, all um, reservations to be canceled with no penalty, uh, no penalization, no cancellation fee. Um, yes. We had someone coming in on a Friday, and this is a uh, you know a couple of hundred dollar uh, reservation, and they were, you know, if they canceled regularly, then they would have had to pay for that day and the day after. Is my from my understanding, correct? Correct. Based off of um, our guidelines. Yeah. yeah. Based off our restriction. We didn't have the super strict one. We had the flexible one because we always try to... Moderate, yeah. You know, keep yeah. it to where we are... If we are affected by our cancellation, this is how we would want things to be uh, done. Yeah, if we were the traveler. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, they canceled. Of course, as soon as we get the notification, I'm the first person... That's all right. All right. <laughs> That's what I thought to, I was. Shout out to our brother-in-law, TJ. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I was mad about it because I was like, hold on, that's that's not even fair. You know, we, and, and I wasn't alone. A lot of uh, people lot throughout of the groups and everything, mm -hmm. they were saying that they were upset about it. But it seemed like it just started and it just went downhill. I think we had... 
17. Uh, we still had like 17 remaining reservations when that happened. And, and that's just, from a time span of end of March to May. No, nah, this was in the, the still was in the uh, 15th through 22nd range. So you, you're you yeah. talking about just in March. In we March, had yeah, 17 from March 15th to March, by March 20th, uh, when it first started to hit, because I think they were supposed to check in either March 15th or 16th, whatever that Friday was. And once they canceled, it just seemed to just start. And we still had like, you know, we had like 18 to 20 on the books before everyone started to cancel. For the month of March, yeah. So that weekend immediately got canceled. A lot of people just was, they just canceled. So we, we had some people checking in on Friday. Uh, some people was checking out Saturday. Some people was checking in Saturday. Everybody that was checking in within that week canceled. Yeah, it was just a ripple effect. Yeah, it just kept it effect. kept happening. And it's like it went all of March and, canceled. Then April started to unfold. Yeah, and they were reaching out to us, you know, as well, just trying to see uh, how things were in Nashville mm -hmm. and um, what our thoughts were. And of course, us being honest people, you know, we just told them, you know, we understand, you know, we can't help them make the decision they have to make the decision on their own um but we understand and we would do anything that we can um just to make it a smooth transition for them mm -hmm. and me i try to think along the lines if it is if i'm the traveler and this is happening while i'm traveling you know what I want to be fair and reasonable. So me as a traveler, I want my money back. But then I also understand on the business side of things that there are expenses that come along with it. So, you know, we try to be fair. So for the ones who were canceling within the cancellation period, like they canceling the day of or the day before. Um, at first, we were just uh, charging them the one night rate. But then, as as things just started progressing on, then we just started um, uh, refunding 100%, which has us <laughs> had us out of pocket. We were having to pay the expense for yeah. everything. And this is coming off of the slow season. During yep. the slow season, you're lucky to get half or even a <laughs> third of your overhead expenses. Mm -hmm. So, needs to say you need to make sure that you're in position and sometimes it works but you have to go through this for like three maybe four months max so this may be november december february november december you still get a little bit more because you got traveling for thanksgiving and yeah, the holidays the holidays yeah. and different things like that new Which year's we hits. all know holidays are you know mm -hmm. prices you know, you can raise those up a little bit. Yeah. You have a little bit of wiggle room there. So, so you're, you're getting more business travelers that are coming in because they have work mm -hmm. to do, uh, different things like that. So, uh, our yeah. seminar so school, events. Yeah, and with college, um, yeah. the big ones in January and February, we usually, like Vanderbilt, people are coming in to do mm -hmm. their, you know, residency programs yeah. or, you know, intern programs, all of that. Yeah. Um, so, that was help and then that's also the time when we're able to um, discount our um, rooms our rates for mm -hmm. families and friends as well that's yeah. so so needs to say it got really tough so uh, once I seen that all the bookings were uh, being canceled uh, I talked to my wife about <laughs> um, changing up some things that mean closing down some places so we started the process of that. Uh, needs to say, um, we were in a lease agreement. So, um, with this particular uh, apartment complex that we were at, they had decided that they no longer wanted to um, do a, a venture with short-term rentals. Mm -hmm. They decided that last year mm -hmm. when um, they were bought out by a new company. So, yeah. it's under new ownership. Yeah, so, so we had one closing anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, in April, mid-April. Uh, that was booked up. All expenses, everything were taken care of until the cancellations happened. Mm -hmm. So, mind you, we coming off of the uh, slow months. So, we 
uh, pretty much ran through the reserve of what we had and what we had on the books, it wouldn't have hurt us at all uh, based off of what we had set for March and April. But because of the cancellation and the pandemic, we lost out on several thousand dollars and we had to deal with that. Mm-hmm. So, Cause mind you, we're still having to pay for the rent there. We're mm-hmm. having to pay for utilities, um, mm-hmm. any fees, expenses yep. um, associated with that. We're mm-hmm. still having to pay for all of that. Um, and yeah, and that adds up. <laughs> Fast. <laughs> that adds up. <laughs> so, with so. that said, but no luckily one. at that time we're still working. Also. Yes, yes, we're that, still that was the, the great yeah. thing about it. Uh, me being out of school, I immediately kn- knowing that that was happening, I immediately went and found a temporary job. It kicked my butt too. <laughs> um, but we went ahead and we prepared. We got through the first apartment, got everything taken care of. Uh, we immediately went on and ended the lease for the second apartment. That lease didn't end until was it? June, it was July. July, that one didn't end until like July. It's like the first week of July, so we would have been able to get the fourth and everything in there done. And you're able to, um, you're always able to get out of your lease early, um, n- most time nowadays mm-hmm. anyway. The, um, but most apartment units have a clause in there to where you have to pay uh, basically one month's rent. Yeah. So you pay, let's say for instance for us, we wanted to leave in April. Yeah, we wanted to end that April. one in April instead of staying the whole term until July. So we pay our rent up until April, and then we have to just pay one additional month after that. Yes. And then we're able to get out free and clear Yes. after that. So that's great because whereas back in the day, it used to be if you're no trying offense. to end your lease early, you got to pay for the remainder of your lease term. So, yeah. so now it's So that would have definitely hurt. If we had to do it that way, but fortunately, um, we were able to take that uh, that deal. Yeah. So we're right now in the process of, of that. Today is Sunday, mm-hmm. so s- this coming up Saturday, we will be uh, moving everything out of that apartment, yeah, uh, yeah. and that will put us down to one. Unfortunately, the one apartment though is not in that building. Yeah, it's, it's in a different it's, building. It's a different building located central downtown. Yes. So they have totally different guidelines than this apartment building. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, because of the quarantine, there's no bookings. No booking. No travels. <laughs> None. We had nothing on the books, and then people started popping up in late June, July. This is April 19th. Mm-hmm. So, think about that. Add that up. <laughs> We've got to deal with May and June. And this is not no four or five hundred uh, dollar rent either. This is a couple of thousand. So, it's like, okay, we was in position to be well ahead of that. Uh, all the overhead was taken care of but with the loss of several thousand a couple of I mean tens of thousands that hurt tremendously Mm -hmm. so right now um, we're in negotiations we talking back and forth with uh, our leasing agent uh, seeing what type of options there is and everything like that Um, I have not uh, since before Easter I'm not working at the uh, temp service anymore because being an essential uh, business, they call for mandatory overtime that weekend of Easter. And And now it's the same weekend that we were moving out of the other part, the other units. Yeah, so I (laughs) I felt like doing the right thing was going ahead and uh, putting in my notice. It was last minute day of basically and letting them know I could not work. Uh, They did change some things, but it was mandatory for Saturday, but I had already had everything lined up to move out. So I wasn't able to continue with that that job. Fortunately, my job does pay. No, man, came (laughs) home every day. He was so happy. Back hurting. (laughs) Knowing that he was gonna end it. (laughs) Legs 
just tender feet. Just feel like somebody just hit me with sledgehammers <laughs> at the bottom of it. Man, it was tough. I complain. Oh, and as big as I am, I shouldn't have been complaining. As tough as I think I am, no, nah, I was complaining. It hurt <laughs> every day standing for eight hours. And because I'm six seven, most of the things that I was doing was a, a lot lower. So I'm constantly like in a crouched position, leaning forward. That's why I had lower back pains because I was always having to lean mm -hmm. to deal with things. Mm -hmm. Even like now, you're leaning. <laughs> you can't. I try not to lean so much, man. I, I've been working trying to to get my back straight, so I gotta gotta work the neck and stuff out. Yeah. <laughs> my slouching position. She ordered me a little thing that is supposed to straighten your posture up. Yeah. So I've been bad at that. So if you if you and any of my students look at this, make sure you have good posture, or you're gonna have back problems. Uh, the next steps that we're doing um next week well this week the end of this week we move out yeah the last apartment in that building um still waiting to hear what if they are offering any assistance um the building itself the building mm -hmm. manager still waiting to see what assistance they're going to offer us so mm -hmm. as of now we have not paid that rent, that rent for this month because yeah. they told us not to they want to wait until they talk to their attorneys to figure out what options we have. So, we'll yeah. see. <laughs> we'll hopefully find out on no, Friday. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> we ain't getting set up. With a, we won't be getting hit with a bunch of extra fees. Well, they did say that they weren't going to charge any any late any late fees. So, we're good there. Mm. We're, and we have a good relationship <laughs> with them, too. So And they know we got the money. We're good for it. So, yeah. that's not an issue. If they say we got to pay, then we'll just pay it that day. And, Keep it moving. Uh, well, understand one thing. If you continue to watch uh, our little videos and everything, you're going to understand that I am the cheapest person in the world, and I do not like to spend money. Yeah. Except when I'm making money. So yep. if I spend it to make it. That's, about, that's, that's me. So. And even then, it's a, it's a fight. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, I'll never win, though. So. <laughs> Oh, a little side note, I am, last week was my week, first week of being off work completely, um, and then I'll go in one day next week. Yeah. Um, so for me, I go back to work just depending on how our workload is, so we'll just see how that unfolds as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, so my sugar mom is not... <laughs> Just not I don't up. have the sugar yet. Yeah. I don't have the sugar. No, no, she don't want the sweet and low. On that something. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we're we'll figuring it out, it. though. We're working on it, but subscribe, and we will be giving updates yeah. from during the pandemic and just where our business journey will take us. Because, of course. As most of you know, we are always thinking about a business. Absolutely. Um, so we'll we'll see where this takes us. <laughs> yeah. So, um, like she said, subscribe, like the video, do the thumbs up thing that they talk about on all the YouTube videos, all that goodness. <laughs> so I will get better at doing that as we record more. But as of right now, you got me to deal with. <laughs> Bye. Peace. <laughs>